Hey everybody, JR Specie here with another box break video. Uh, hey, you, you know, if you like these videos that I make, I'd love it if you could give them a thumbs up. And uh, also, if you could subscribe, that would be great too. I've been making these videos for, uh, for quite a while now. And the reason I started was because I really enjoyed watching these types of videos. So I thought I would try to add to the community of opening packs and boxes and you know, just random things, and uh, and I do a lot of uh, variety, so I thought it would, you know, be a good addition to the pack break, box break community, and also to the non-sport and the sports, and then the oddball stuff. So uh, these breaks are kind of expensive uh, for me because I'm not getting paid by YouTube or any sponsors. So if you could just show a little love and just subscribe to my channel. Uh, maybe go watch some other videos, hit the like button. I would very much appreciate it, and it would really help me to continue to bring more videos to you guys. So anyways, today we're just doing 15 random packs of Pokemon. I had some uh, booster boxes. Actually, I have a lot of booster boxes of a lot of different Pokemon and a lot of different Yu-Gi-Oh! And a lot of different Magic the Gathering. And then I literally have well over a thousand unopened vintage boxes of uh sports and non-sport cards uh, so you know I got a lot of stuff to open uh, and I would love to to get a little bit of love from you guys uh, with uh, subscribing to my channel so if you wouldn't mind that'd be awesome uh, if you guys have any fan mail uh, there's an address down below to send it I'd be glad to uh, send you something back if you'd like uh, I open everything on camera so with that being said I got 15 packs here um, few of them are Steam Siege and then the rest are Sun and Moon. So let's get right into it. See if we get anything good. If you saw the last video I did, I bought all the team up packs from the Dollar Tree and they were all obviously weighed because all I got was three crappy reverse hollows. So let's just get right to the Rares because that's all anybody cares about. Nidorino Reverse Hollow. And then a Primate Rare. Okay. I'm not going to do the patented guess the energy like Leonhardt does because I don't know how to do it. Anyway, so these are probably... Oh, wait, these right here don't have energies. Yeah, so good thing I wasn't going to do it because we would have failed every time because we never would have gotten energy. All right, anyways, let's go. Boom, but there's your rare, reverse hollow rare. Not bad. I hope everyone's having a good day. If you haven't seen Leonhardt's channel, he's a pretty fun one to watch. I, I enjoy watching his videos. Uh, he gets a lot of interesting things to open. So if you haven't seen his channel, I can put a link in the description for it. You know, just to add some more fun stuff. He does videos, I think, five days a week. Um, but I don't have time. I have to work and so I can buy more stuff. There's our reverse hollow. Koopa rare. Yeah, I have to work so I can afford to buy more stuff because I'm pretty sure his stuff is being sponsored quite a bit because he's got about a half a million subscribers. Or maybe a million, I don't know, a ton. And I've got about, uh, I got about 24. <laughs> so I've got a long way to go. Reverse hollow. Wow, these are, this is a pretty crappy bunch of packs so far. Three packs. And we are doing horrible. The only foil we got is on reverse hollows. So apparently, I grabbed possibly the worst packs in the box. Steelix Spirit Link Reverse Hollow. And there's our rare Hoopa. And some more stuff that's not really worth anything. If you like anything you see, feel free to email me. Um, always happy to trade. 
or if it's something I don't really care about, I'm glad to just send it. Maybe you could just add a, the money for shipping, that'd be great. There's our rare. Another garbage rare. Like I said, because I've had a bunch of people interested in stuff and I had to pay for all the shipping and just give it away, that would add up and it would just take away from money to open up packs and stuff. So, but you know, I could ship common stuff in a, just a white envelope for 50 cents. So, oh, we got something in this one finally. This Doug Trio Reverse Hollow, but rare, and then Soga Leo. That's pretty cool. And that's a full art, I believe. You know, check out the value of that one later on. Okay, these have the energies in them. So. Reverse hollow, and rare. Guess the energy game. Oh, uh, psychic. Yes, I was right. Cool. Alrighty. Oh, I'm getting good at this. First guess, and I got it. Alright, for those of you who don't know, that's called a joke. Because we've seen it. Alrighty, y'all. Oh. There we go. Let's just burn through here and get to the rare quicker because that's what everybody cares about. Hollow foil. Our reverse foil. These are rare. And that's it. Hey, I just, if you guys think I should just burn through these even faster and just show the rares, uh, let me know in the comments below and I won't spend as much time you know, going through them as slow as I do. So there's a Kangaskhan uh, foil. You know what I mean? I'll just burn through them real fast and uh, I go, I, you know, I show every card just because I think that you might want to see them. But if you don't, let me know. We can make these videos even quicker. Yeah, keep a lookout because you know I'm always doing uh, PSA return submissions also. I got 381 cards out right now. Uh, should be back here in the near future. And a lot of them are Pokemon cards. I'm going to be sending a bunch of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh in here soon too. Prima Arena GX, full art I believe. If I'm wrong, tell me below. Uh, well, at least we got a couple cards that were, you know, not too horrendous. Unlike that Dollar Tree opening where everything was, I only got three reverse foils and none of them were even rares. They were just, con I think I had one uncommon, two commons. And then there's a foil, that's, that's nice. Crocodile. And I'll probably send a lot of these. You know, rares, not the reverse hollows, but the regular rares. I'll probably send those out to get graded. Just because I like to. You know. Because if they're a gem mint 10, that's cool. And if they're not, then I just wasted money. Getting them graded. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what the future holds for these down the road. There's a nice, that's a cool foil. Maybe I could get uh, my money back. On the grading fee, at least down the road, if uh, I get them graded and they come back nines or something like that. But who knows? Some people like they like seeing them graded and they think they're cool, so they pay a little bit more for them. But they usually cost me about eh, ten bucks a card to get them graded. 
with return shipping and everything, and that's and that's doing bulk orders. I do bulk orders, so I always do over a hundred cards. So the Ultra Ball, Reverse Hollow, and another non hollow rare. All right, well that's it, guys. Hey, if you want to see me open anything specific, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna dig out all of my Yu-Gi-Oh boxes here. They're in storage, and I'm gonna do a video showing them all to you guys, and you can let me know uh, which ones. Are worth opening which ones aren't which ones you'd like to see you know what are the hot poles in the videos and we'll open some of those so don't forget please like please subscribe and stay tuned for another video thanks guys have a good day bye